Hey folks, so for this next video, I feel like I should have shaven and put on some nice clothes, maybe a suit and a tie. I am feeling lazy, uh, and that would be going overboard, I believe. But instead, I have poured myself a drink, it's a funky Halloween glass, of some brandy, actually. <laughs> some nice pumice brandy. And because um, I, I have a total crush on the girl in the video we're about to see, and that's why we're about to see it. If you've seen my videos on Dreamcatcher, you know that I instantly was, like, wowed by them. And I, I think I've done four videos on them, and I was like, wow, this is really great. And at some point, I noticed this one girl doing the rapping. And her rapping was awesome. And her look was awesome. And if you go back in one of the videos, I actually, I think I comment, like, her eyes. So after I had done the videos, I started doing a little more investigating. And <clears throat> Yeah, I, I think I'm totally crushing over Dami. The way she sings, her hip-hop is, is really awesome. It's... There, there's many ways of singing hip hop, and people who just write off rap but don't realize how much of a rock variety there is in the hip hop world. I mean, you compare someone like Eminem to Busta Rhymes to like Reggaeton, it's so different. And she's got a really, really interesting approach to it that I really like. It has this rhythm and this, this. I don't know. I, I'm not too sure where she's pulling it from or what music she listens to, but it's really interesting, and her voice is really interesting tonally. Um, but she has an attitude about her. And I know when you see a lot of stuff by her, they dress her up in her a particular look. It's a little masculine. And if you go on YouTube, I'm actually looking at something right now on my computer, you'll find these girls, maybe the guys, I don't know, making these videos that go, things Dreamcatcher Dami has done to make me gayer. Or, if I was a lesbian, I'd want to be a lesbian with Dami. I mean, it's just like, I'm not alone in this. But it's, it's not just that she's attractive, but there's something strong about her. She's a strong individual woman. I know nothing about her, actually, but I mean, maybe she's faking it, but there's just something about her that comes off as like, you can't touch this, you know, or whatever. I'm doing my own thing. And even in the context of K-pop, where all the girls are doing the same dance and doing the same thing, just when someone pulls out that bit of individuality, somehow it, it leaks through it. And they're more than just being cute and they're more than just being sexy. It's, it's really powerful, and I, she hooked me like a, a fish and a hook. So, like I said, I'm, I'm totally crushing on her. I'm not even going to be shy about that. It's completely complimentary. It's not like I'm ever going to meet her or anything, but, you know, it's like, wow, this is... Wow, I mean, I can't... I, I, just, I had... Yeah. So, for her, I, I break open the bottle of brandy. Anyways, I found a song by her and Yu Hyun. Yu Hyun. I have no idea how to pronounce these Korean names. A huge apology. It's just the two of them doing Baby Don't Stop NCT U cover. <laughs> oh, live. See, the mask and look, the tie. And they put it with someone who's completely different look, singing. Uh 
<laughs> God, I love her style. It's a cute dance. I like the flowing clothes too. It all works really well. Those big sleeves and pants. This is a cool song. Very cool. Oh. Oh, they're both singing. I love how they've used her vocals. Wow, that was really, it was really great. It just streamlined the whole idol sound down and interesting vocals and it was just a, yeah, I'm, I'm still crushing over her. I just, I, I'm sorry. It's just an interesting use of singing. They they had her do her normal hip hop, but then she also did that 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 other voice, and then this, the girl had her higher pitched voice. Wow, I was really interested. Just a basic beat, but wow, such. So Dreamcatcher has amazing dancing. I've been watching some of their dance performance videos, and they're really intense. Like their choreographer is one of the best, and I have commented on some videos here actually a pink comes to mind who i was really like bored by their choreography it was like the girls are just standing there they look bored they're not enthused and you're like and then i've commented about others where it's just like booty shaking it's like no dream catcher though it's like in a whole other category they're seriously probably yeah maybe my favorite k-pop band at this point in time i mean they're just yeah I, um Everything about them just clicks absolutely perfectly. I don't know if they're part of SM or what entertainment company they're with, but they have it right on. I've never heard anything they've done early in their career when they were known as Minx, but now hot. Yeah, and yeah, and uh, Danny, hot, 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 scorching. 